This tutorial will cover the relief valve replacements for power pole shallow water anchors using the PRV replacement kits available for all of our pump models. We will be demonstrating the process on an 8 foot blade CM2 pump, but the procedure will be the same for all the pump models. You will need the following tools to complete this task. In order to perform this job in a clean and controlled environment, we recommend that the pump be removed from the boat before proceeding. First remove the four bolts that attach the hydraulic pump unit to the hydraulic fluid reservoir using a Phillips head screwdriver. CM1 models also have one hex head bolt that will need to be removed using a quarter inch wrench. Pull the HPU out of the reservoir and lay it upside down on a clean towel to catch any fluid that drips from the fittings. Next, remove the down TRV valve and the housing that it sits on. Take a 9 16th wrench and loosen the housing until the whole assembly can be removed. After removing the down TRV and housing, remove the up and down PRVs. Loosen the hex nuts using an 11 16th inch wrench, then twist the valve until it can be removed. The valve should be loose enough to remove by hand. If it is stuck, use a 7 16th wrench to loosen and remove it. Examine the valve ports to make sure no pieces from the old valves are lodged in them. If there are, remove them with the needle nose pliers or by flipping the pump upside down and tapping the side. Do not remove the furthest valve to the right. After the old valves have been removed, it is time to replace them with the new ones. Note that on all pumps, the left valve will be the down TRV. The next valve to the right will be the down PRV, and the one to the right of that one will be the up PRV. For this pump model, the yellow valve goes on the down TRV. The green valve goes on the down PRV and the orange valve goes on the up PRV. To install the new valves, hand tighten each of them into place. Once hand tightened, fully seal the valves down by giving them another quarter turn with a 9 16th wrench. At this point, it may be a good idea to check the state of your hydraulic fluid. Take a look at the fluid in the reservoir. If it looks like this, proceed with the install. If it's contaminated, go ahead and replace it with our recommended Green Marine ISO 32 hydraulic fluid. Once the pump has been reinstalled into the boat, follow the priming procedure contained in the instructions of your shallow water anchor.